Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chuckles again, back with another Diablo 3 video. Again, I am joined by Powered by Fatal. This is his uh, Crusader right here. This is his Holy slash Physical Crusader. He has named it Cloud as an homage to Final Fantasy 7, which if you watch my channel, you know I'm doing a Let's Play on it. Shameless plug. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as far as skills, on his primary, or his, well, it calls it his secondary, but his primary attack is going to be Blessed Shield Shattering Throw. So it costs 20 Wrath, hurl, hurl your shield, dealing 430 weapon damage as uh, holy, plus a 250% of your shield block chance is holy again. So the shield will split into three smaller fragments that bounce around to nearby enemies, dealing another 170% weapon damage. So that's very important. Keep that in mind. Next, we go with Shield Glare with Divine Verdict. So cooldown of 12 seconds, which it's not necessarily 12 seconds. I'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Light erupts from your shield, blinding all enemies up to 30 yards in front of you for 4 seconds. Blinded enemies take 20% more damage for 4 seconds. So keep that in mind as well. Next on our 1 key, he's rolling with Steed Charge Endurance. Mount Celestial Warhorse allow you to ride through enemies unimpeded, which means uninter uninterrupted basically for 3 seconds. So we use that for um, movement purposes. Next, on number two key, we're going to use Judgment with Resolved. So it says, pass judgment on all enemies within 20 yards of the targeted location, immobilizing them, stunning, basically, for six seconds. Damage dealt to judged enemies has a 20% increased chance to be a critical hit. So 20% more critical hit chance by all stunned enemies. Stuns them for six seconds within 20 yards. Win-win. Next, we're running with Laws of Valor Critical. So basically it gives you 15% increased attack speed and a 100% increased critical hit damage for 5 seconds when you activate it. It's passive, just gives you 8% increased attack speed all the time. So it's just amazing. I think your other choices for laws gives you like resistances or regenerates life. Out of all of them, this is the best one. Next we roll with Akarach Champion, Hasteful. It is the holy version. Cooldown of 90 seconds, explode with power of your order, increasing your damage done by 35% and increases your wrath regeneration by 5 for 30, 20 seconds. So you also gain 15% increased attack speed. So this, um, this build is really focusing on increased attack speed, which is awesome. Next, he's rolling with Fervor because he is using a one-handed weapon. So while wielding a one-handed weapon, your attack speed is increased again by 15%, and all cooldowns are reduced by 15%. So bang for your buck, best passive you can go with when you're going with this build. Next, Holy Cause. The amount of uh, damage dealt by your weapons increased by 10%, and whenever you deal Holy Damage, you, you heal basically for 1% of your total life, which is just awesome when you get into higher torments, so on and so forth. Next, he rolls with Finery as his third passive. Gain 1.5% strength for every gem socketed into your gear. Um, and there's one in head, one in weapon, three in chest, two in pants. And then you can also get some in rings and necklace if you wanted to, but that would be a waste of a stat. Next, he goes with Towering Shield. This is awesome for the uh, Blessed Shield build and um, Holy in general. So increases the damage of Punish, Shield Bash, and Blessed Shield by 20% and then reduces the cooldown of Shield Glare by 30%, so lowers this to like, what, 9 seconds, 10 seconds, something along those lines? So let's go ahead and take a look at his gear right quick. So he is lucky enough to have the, what is it, Gear Falcon's foot? I don't really know how to pronounce that, but this thing. It's freaking amazing. Removes the resource cost of Blessed Shield, so it no longer costs any wrath, so that means you can just spam the crap out of it. Next he's going with the Jekin Board. This lets Blessed Shield ricochet to five additional enemies. So you get three from the uh, original sh Blessed Shield, um, what is it called? Blessed Shield Shattering Throw, that one. So you get three from that, and then five more gives you eight at no cost. So it's just amazing. Next, it's just your standard Ring of Royal Grandeur. He's rolling with the three, three or four, yeah, four pieces of all guilds. Um, I think we're going to try and attempt to move into Akans for this set, just because we do use Akarach Champion. Going with Kane set, so on and so forth. Standard build for higher torments. Jumping right into his Paragons in core, he goes 50% or er, 50 points for a total of 25% in movement speed. Um, that is your cap, so you always want to make sure you hit 25% on every tune. And then leftover points is going straight into strength for the added damage and armor. Next in offense, <clears throat> we go 50 points into attack speed to give you a full 10%. So like I said, this build does revolve heavily around attack speed, so the more you get, the better. Leftover points go into crit hit damage because you don't need the critical hit chance with the, uh, what is it, the ability that gives you this one, 
judgment. Gives you 20% increased chance to be a critical hit when they're stunned or whatnot. So critical hit damage is the way to go. Next in defense, all 50 points into resist all. This character, his resist all is a little low, so for higher torments you need as much as you can get. So in Paragon, all 50 points if you can. Next, go into armor. It's the next best bang for your buck when it comes to Paragon points in the defense tab. Lastly, in utility, we're rolling uh, all 50 points for a 50% area damage increase, just added damage because that shield is going to be flying all over the screen. Next, leftover points, we're going to throw into life on hit just to gain a little bit more survivability. On your gear, you're going to want to get as much blessed shield and um, holy damage as much as possible increased. So holy damage right now, we're at 20% and blessed shield 34%. Also, you want to shoot for as much cooldown reduction as possible, putting the diamond into your helm, so on and so forth. You can get it on shoulders, gloves, both rings, necklace, and I believe that's it. Well, note weapon. You could have got it on the weapon, too. So that would be as much uh, cooldown reduction as you possibly can. So that's what you want to shoot for. So basically what happens is, is the rotation goes, you're going to go up to them and you're going to shield glare them, and then you're going to judgment them. Recite your laws, pop a Akarach champion if you have to, and then just spam the shit right out of your blessed shield. So, I'll show you a little bit of the uh, build in work here, as always. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.